Oh my god, oh my god, Barry's gonna eat it. Jack's fishing in the pond right now. I'm just trying to feel the thump of doom from pot. Is no one concerned about the size of the box? What the heck is this? Uh, we got played. Today, we ordered fish from the dark web and it came in this strange box right behind me. It's gotta be the biggest box we've ever had sent to us, but before we jump into that, we gotta check on Barry the Barracuda, our last video that we caught out in the canal. We put him in the saltwater pond and we're gonna see how he's doing. It's been a couple days, so let's take a look. Hang on, come with me. Move back, Raj! Come check on Barry. Then there's gonna be a really weird man in here, so get ready. Of course, the guy with high cholesterol. And today we go to today we go eat some good Cuban food. These are so I'll do the chicken with extra French fries. And you should have seen the amount of mayonnaise sauce <laughs> on this guy's plate. These are the best so much ever. Try one. No. Look at my shirt. We started fishing at 9:30 today. We caught. Realistically, probably like 25 bass. Everyone I know is extremely, <laughs> extremely, probably anxiously waiting for the update on Barry. I've been examining him every single day. Look at this Barracuda down in the bottom. He's in there. He is in there with the big boys. He's holding his own. He's thriving, but he hasn't eaten, obviously. He's only been in here for a couple of days. We wanted to try and feed him today. Now, this is a wild caught barracuda, so he's used to eating live food. I went to the tackle shop today. They had no live pilchards. The only live fish they had was shiner. So that is on the menu for Barry the Barracuda today. And I, I'd say it's a very low probability that he does eat, but guess because what? Because I think this maniac right there is actually gonna eat him. No yeah, joke. This fish has a problem. He I has think. a problem. You throw a literal like pea in there, he'll eat it. Look at that shiner. Let's throw one back. Gorgeous. Over All right, get low, Brooke. I'm tossing. Toss Three, Barry. two, one. Come on, bear. Come on, bear. Ah! It's in the corner. It's gonna get stuck to the pump. <laughs> it's gonna get stuck to the pump. Where is it? It's literally stuck to the pump. Yeah. It's no. literally, like, how dumb is that shiner? Are you serious? It's actually on there? Yeah, zero brain. All right, allow me to get him. I don't see the fish. Well, then he's in the filter. Yeah. Okay. He's going for the ride he's of his life. Add to our biological load. Let's try it again. All right, yeah, let's try it again. Give him a bigger one. So obviously, Barry, we caught him on live bait. He loves, they, that's what they eat in the wild, you know? Okay, Barry. He wants some live food. Barry. He's super camera shy. Barry, Barry, Barry. Oh. And oh, oh, oh crap! Is Pot's gonna Barry, be Barry's moving though. Oh my god, Barry is moving. Oh my god, don't do it. He's gonna go into the filter again. We're about to try another tactic. We're about to try a different tactic because the shiners keep swimming into the filter. We're gonna tie it on a rod and see if we can drop it down on top of Barry. The shiner's going. Oh my god, it's Barry. going next is to Barry. Going to Barry? Yeah. The bait's literally going to Barry. No way. He Barry's he, just a log. The though. shiner thinks Barry's just a big shiner. Yeah. That's what he thinks. He's like, oh my god, it's just bury the log. Here comes Potts to do the damage. Potts is gonna eat him right now. Oh my god, Potts just ate him. And Barry definitely is done. That man is startled. Yeah, Barry is so scared right now. There's no way. Did he, did he just heard a vacuum. Now guys, we did name it Barry right now. I dropped a comment on, my, on our last video, Barry the Barracuda, got a ton of likes, but we're still open to suggestions. So if you have an awesome name for Barry, the Barracuda, you want us to change it, uh, drop it down in the comments below because we are, we're, I'm a, I, I would say I'm very open to your comments about what to name this guy because he is, this is Barracuda. We officially have a Barracuda. Even though me and Jack were talking last night, we're like, maybe we should upgrade to like a four footer. Call it a day. Have a four footer in the pond. That's an option too. So now we're you, talking. If you think we should keep Barry, comment down his name below. If you think we should go catch a three to four foot Barracuda and then put him in the pond, Drop a like on the video, we'll make it happen. Let's go, Barry. I'm talking like a Goliath Barracuda, like the ones we've caught on the beach before, roll some clips. Those monsters, imagine that thing in here. Barry's small compared to that. Let's see if Barry wants it. Come on, Bear. Come on, Bear. Jack's fishing in the pond right now. It's a great cast. Oh my God, oh my God, Barry's gonna eat it. Oh my God, oh my God, Barry's gonna eat it. Pots. Was Barry about to eat that? Pots was. Look how cool Barry is right in the front of the glass. Oh, he's so sick. I love that freaking pots. Oh, no. I, I, I think, think he's intimidated. All right, I'm just trying to feel the thump of doom from pots. I, I, at this point, I just got to feel what it's like. I if I was out there fishing, I got to feel this. Come on, dude, please don't let me down. Oh my God. Come on, pots, don't let me. Is that epic? 
traffic? Oh, it was amazing. I think very, he's, he's literally, the Barracuda's only been here for four days, three, four days. Our box is getting wet and is no one concerned about the size of the box? I just remember this. But Barry's only been here for four days. Very skittish. I think he's really scared of the groupers. So we're gonna, you know, see if we can get used to him. If he doesn't, we're gonna get, uh, put Barry back and you know, they're gonna have to pick on someone their own size with that four footer. But drop a like if you guys think we should get a giant for the pond, that'd be epic. We are 11 days, guys. It's officially 11 days before we are dropping the Fish Guy Mystery Fishing Box. Be ready for that. They're gonna go super quick. There's already a wait list with thousands of people on there. So if you do wanna jump on there, Go join the wait list because you only have 11 days to get notified. And then once it goes live, they're live. So August 14th, 2023, big day for all you fish guys. You guys are gonna be catching more fish. You're gonna be using what we use and you're gonna have access to a private Facebook group, which is my favorite part. The private Facebook group where me and Jack are gonna be in there with you guys. We're all gonna be sharing photos. That's how you're gonna win super awesome prizes every single month and how we're gonna do some awesome fishing tournaments with you guys. It's gonna be epic. Can't freaking wait. So 11 days, be Ready. Dude. Uh, I'm concerned. I'm concerned. I'm concerned. Do you think this is actually 700 pounds? No. Oh, it's light? It's light. All right, well, that's a let Relatively down. light. I thought this was going to be literally. Oh, it's not that. It's actually not, no, that it's bad. not It's pretty. It's all right. It's wet. This is ridiculously absurd. You know, when you don't know what website you're ordering off of and it's just like, hey, let's just buy this, you don't know what you're getting. Let me know. Now, we did order a shark on the website, but if it's this long, it's barely fitting in here. So we're slightly worried. We gotta dig through this box, try and find our shark in here, and if it is the whole box, it's about seven of pans and pots <laughs> lined up. It would be the size of this shark. So let's lock in, let's open this box, see what's inside. I'm gonna do it. With that? Yeah. I don't wanna get my, my knife glued up. That's what you call nice, precision cuts. Yeah, get in there, rip it, rip it. Hey, there's a 13 on it. Woo! Lucky number 13. Collegiate or, athlete. You know there's no four 13s. Jack, Division Two, Collegiate Athlete. Good to meet you. It's a real honor. Number 13, Division Two, Collegiate Athlete. That's awesome. That is like really awesome. I can't believe. Bro, it. what the heck is this? Okay, so it's literally like it's one thing here. I, that might not even be a fish. It's a big box. There bro. is. There's another box. Two here. boxes in there. So they sent a big box. Extremely light. Send us three smaller boxes. There's that's water. hundred percent. That's water. This must. This is this is heavy as crap. This must have been like you this know, like is a super. So this is another box. That's hundred percent guaranteed. That's hundred percent. Yes, man. this is guaranteed. Hundred percent. Okay, wait, hold on. This might have been like ride share for Uber, except FedEx. What does that mean? You know, They're telling me they packaged it as something else other than what it was. And then maybe it went to someone else's To keep house. it in cog. That's, I, called, I good, don't know that's called good thinking. I'm putting these down. You package it as a huge package in cog. You know what okay. I'm saying? All right, let's just, we'll, we'll go through this box after we get done with the The dead giveaway, 187 pounds. This thing was probably maybe a, a hundred. What are we doing? I'm, I'm itching here, I'm itching. All right, I guess we just start with the miniature box, right? Did you say something? Yeah, so let's start with the okay. miniature box. Okay. Because this is the smallest and lightest. You have to be di diligent here. Wow, that's good incision. That's a really actually good cut. One quick snip here, let the blade roll, just like that. Perfect, one quick. Let the bait, uh, let the blade roll, just like that, bro. Because you don't know what you could be cutting. You could be cutting a silica pack. No, you're not. There's been a fly in here this whole time. <laughs> you missed. That's okay. close. Can you open the package? More toilet paper roll. It's a pancake. Is there anything in here? <laughs> We're making a mess. Fish, Ow. fish, world's smallest pleco. World's smallest what? pleco. World's smallest pleco Can albino. Just think about how that pleco traveled in this giant 19,000 pound box. That's pretty box. funny. And it's a, it's a minnow pleco. That's pretty funny. Wow, that is so small. Should I get up the first bag, eh? That might even be platinum, Chris. That might even be platy. Not a molly and a platy. That might just be platinum plec. Uh, where are we gonna put that thing? My mini pond? Take it along. All right, this little guy right here has a bunch of food to live and eat on. Goodbye, buddy. He's so tiny. See ya. Oh He's my clearing god. It. He's, He's so clearing tiny. it right to the wall. So much algae, dude. He's already eating. He's literally already eating. That's actually cool, Chris. I agree. 
He's cool. I like him. Now, guys, that Pleco was actually pretty cool. That was probably one of the smallest albino or platinum ones I've ever seen. It was the world's smallest. Let's be honest. But I really cannot help myself. I have to go to the biggest box because I need to know if that's a shark. It's heavy. This is heavy. Got it? This is heavy. It's a huge box. This is heavy. What the? This could be our shark. Ah! If he's that big, he's gonna he, eat. He's eating, right? Yeah. Unless he's bowed up. Unless he's bowed up, yeah. Should I look? Yeah, let's open this bag. It's we leaking. We got a leaker, yeah. Oh my god, we got a leaker. We have like big time leaking bag. Hang on. There we go. We're in. Holy, uh, that's holy not our shark. Holy crap. What the hell is that? That's huge. It's a huge freaking Oscar. That's oh. not our shark. Oh my god, it smells like poop. Does it? Albino Oscar. Dude, that's two albino fish back to back, so we could have you albino shark. Now. You got him? Dude, that's freaking dope. Oh! Let me get the light, let me get the light. Whoa, dude, that's not a shark. No, but that's, that's dope. That's a freshwater fish, bro. That thing is crazy. That, that is, is sick. That is so big. That is so sick. That is so sick. Holy cow, that is actually cool. I haven't seen an Oscar that big ever in my life, and we haven't had Oscars in like three years. That is sick. Very Shout out to our boy Hopkins. I thought that was gonna be our shark, but it's not a shark, but no. I'm still happy with that. We're gonna try him in my pond to see how he does in there. He looks pretty docile. And he looks, yeah, and he's big. We gotta carry this whole thing over there. Wow, okay. You got that, that's a job for you. Let's so, go, so let's that go. leaves us with a shark in here though. Well then that shark is gonna be tiny yeah, if it's, it's in a there. Minnow. It's a minnow shark. All right, this is a big old Oscar right here. That is literally he's a, a monster. jumbo. Look at the size of this thing. Like this might be the biggest Oscar I've actually ever seen. It's like dinner plate size and he's super docile and chill. Look at that thing. Albino tiger Oscar, I think that is. Really beautiful. Orange on the bottom, then it's pretty like reddish orange specks and then white and gold on the top. We've that caught is. Oscars before. Yeah, we have. Not an albino, but I have seen an albino in the wild. Let's get this guy in. Come with me, buddy. All right, here you go. Enjoy it in here, big guy. Bom, bom, he's sick. Bom. He's so chill, he's bro. He's so sick. He actually is chill. He's so dang chill. I wonder if he's gonna beef with everything. Dude, he's gonna thrive in here. You think? 100%. He's got so much room. He's got minnows to eat. He does have a ton of room. He's got so he's much not, room. He doesn't look big at all in here. No. That looks cool. I like that. That looks really nice. Pops, he re actually really pops. That's the cool thing about albino fish. They pop. Well, that's an awesome fish. Back-to-back -back albinos. The only thing I have hopeful for me right now is that that shark is albino, and that would be absolutely terrific so this guy's worth a name guys this guy's definitely worth, he's worth a name in the pond so we're gonna have to drop a name down for big old ugly face right there albino oscar because he looks like he's got a lot of skin care and needs botox on his face yeah he's got mad he's got so many wrinkles so drop a name down so for him, many wrinkles uh in the comments it kind of reminds me of that woman from spongebob that's like chocolate so maybe we'll just name him chocolate <laughs> so Shout out to Chuck. <laughs> this box is officially empty. Are you sure? Whoa. Careful, Chris, please. Please be gentle Strong with the box. Let me get in here. All right, yeah, I'm gonna make a return. Go ahead. Get in this I'm gonna box. return this. This is actually, I don't even know how this, they made this mishap. You think Let's go. Get him out. Uh, hang on. Okay. Guys, this is it. And it's pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy, but that does, it, does, it really doesn't give us much opportunity of size, but something's telling me we got an albino in here. The only time I've ever seen an albino shark, and I know it's possible, is at Rod's and Predatory Fins. He had like two albino nurse sharks, I think. Those things were wild, and they were a pretty penny. Pretty petty. Pretty penny. So that would be Let's pretty hope epic. It's albino. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm trying to get to. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Let's hope it's albino. Okay, here we are. Here we are, dual bag, single bag. Dual bag, single dual bag. bag. On top. Ah, we got played. We got played like a violin. We got played. Do you know it's what a this shark. is? Violin, mini violin. It's the world's smallest violin. And I'm playing it right now. Because that might be the world's smallest shark. That sucks. It's kind of cool though. I mean, it's cool, but it's not albino. It's always cool to see baby sharks. So Where are we gonna put that? And then put it in there. Come on, Jack, pick him up, man. Be a man. Is he gonna bite me, though? No. Look at that right there. A little baby shark. Ah! He's back in. That is so dang cool right there. Their, their prints on them when they're babies are so cool. So let's get this little guy. Drop a name for this little dude. This guy is wicked cool. You got the lid open? All right, buddy. Come with me. 
Yeah, all right, guys, here he goes. He's about to go down into the pond. There you go, buddy. Get on in there. Down to the bottom he goes. There you go. You actually look super damn cool in here. Those stripes are so bright. He looks so good. I think he's actually got a good group of guys in here that he's gonna become It's the, it's really the mini predator it. pond. It's yeah. the mini predator pond. We got the human with trigger. We got the shark now. We got the hogfish. We got uh, a psycho starfish in there and a baby green morning eel. So this thing is coming along real nice. We got fish this time. What Yellow water. Yellow water. Yellow water. Yellow water, dude. Whoa. These are trevallies. So these are pretty much jack. But they're better. They're pretty much jacks. Like that big jack we caught in our last video. That monster. This is pretty much that. That's cool, up. though. Except these guys are yellow and striped, which is kind of, it's pretty much cooler than a jack. Yeah, that's now, neat. The, honestly, the thing I'm kind of, you know, thinking about is would small fish live in here? Probably. No, we just saw what happened to the shiner. I was going to say, probably if Potts wasn't in there. Yeah. Hans doesn't care about small fish. But Potts, Potts. Will, Potts will hunt down a glass minnow and eat it. He doesn't care until his last dying breath he'll be eating glass minnows off the surface. So, Potts, Potts does not play games. Where the Micro heck? shrimp. Go shrimp. Go shrimp, yeah. Go shrimp blowing up on him. Now another thing is the cleaner wrasse actually are, the, the fish like the cleaner wrasse. So maybe we should put some cleaner wrasse in this pond and see if they'll live. Drop a like on this video if you guys think we should get some cleaner wrasse for the pond, get like a bunch of them. Cause they're blue and white and they're really cool. I think they look cool in the pond. They would look really good. Here Jack. Thanks man. Thanks where, man. Where are those going? Same pond. Yeah, these things will actually maybe follow the shark. They All follow right. bigger fish. Let's so. go. All right, these guys are epic. There's two of them here. So they're obviously gonna school up. Look at those things right there. Those are stunning fish right there. The bars on them are wicked. That is awesome. The big one's sick. The big one is dope. All right, you ready? Let's get them in. All right, there you guys go. Get on here. See ya. See ya. Down to the bottom, those are cool, bro. Oh my God. Dope addition to the pond. We got some, uh, I didn't expect to get fish for this pond today, but we got trevallies and a shark. So it was a double header. It was a double header today for this pond, which is very- And the freshwater. And the freshwater. All my ponds got fish today, except the one pond we actually wanted, which is really annoying actually. Um, they hyped us up with that big box and then we got absolutely bamboozled. The whole goal of today was to get a giant shark for this pond, but instead, we got nothing for this pond, two mini fish, and two freshwater fish. Super unfortunate. That is unfortunate, I'm We were pumped when we saw that box. Sadly, it came with, uh, I don't know what they did with that box. Minnows. Minnows. Well, box. actually one tank. No, it was, a good, it was a good box, but why the big box? Can someone explain to me down in the comments? I have no idea. Thank you guys for watching. Name some fish down in the comments. Drop them down below. We will pick those names when we read those comments. So drop them down below. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Later.